So I brought my window and my door, and the next step is to place them into position, right? So I'm gonna zoom in, I'm gonna click on the block, use that uh, grip to move it around, just click on the grip and you can move it freely, make sure your ortho is off. And I don't have the, the, the specific distance uh, to put the, the window, I don't have a measurement that tells me, okay, put it one foot away from the left wall. So I'm gonna use just estimation here. But there is something I want you to see, if I wanna put it on top here, notice that the window is actually uh, bigger than the width of my wall. So I'm gonna have to rescale or change the size of this window. For that, we're gonna use something called the scale command. So before I can start, well, let me first show you the scale command. I click scale on the, uh, it's on the home tab, on the modify section, but you can also type scale. And uh, once this, the, you do that, the second step is to click on the object or objects you want to scale. Left click, then press enter, and that selects the object. The next step is to select a base point. So I'm gonna select the middle of the object as a base point, and then you can move your mouse you know, up and down to rescale it. But this is a very difficult way to scale things and has absolutely no precision. So for that, uh, what I need to do is use something called reference. You see the command line says copy and reference. Those are the subcommands or parameters of the scale command that we need to use. So I'm gonna start it over, I'm gonna press escape, because I'm gonna need a line that is the size I want as reference. So I'm gonna L enter and I'm gonna create a line here, I'm gonna press ortho and this line has to be five inches. So zero feet, five inches, enter. Okay, and this is gonna be my reference line that matches the width of my wall. So let's start the uh, scale command again, scale, select the object, enter. Oops kind of use a window selection, enter. Now the base point is gonna be the middle of the object, and then I'm gonna type R for reference, enter. So the f after you type R, enter, you have to select the points in your object that you need to uh, reference to. So the object's width is the one that I want to change, so I'm gonna select this endpoint click and this endpoint click. Now the next step is to press P for points. I press P enter and now I have to select what uh, reference points I want to copy from so it's gonna be this line that I just created so this endpoint here and this endpoint here and that's it once that is done I press enter I'm out of the command and if you click on your object here um, you will see that if I move it press my ortho off it matches exactly the width of my there you go, and something is interfering here. It matches exactly the width of my wall. Next, we're gonna be creating the rest of the windows. So, since I already scaled this uh, to fit my wall, I'm just gonna select it, Control C and Control V. So I'm copying, pasting it, and then I'm gonna add it uh, at some point here on my wall. Now, before I do that, I wanna notice that when I hover here and I have my object snaps on see that um, the window will tend to snap into these different points. So you could do that and uh, then move it around. But also if you click here on the object snap settings, uh, you can turn on and off uh, all these different object snaps. I suggest you don't have more than three uh, on at any given point or it's gonna be really difficult to, to snap something. Uh, so, but let's say you have three or four uh, enabled here. What you could do is, to make things easier, you can just, and I'm just gonna click here, move it here, I'm gonna select it again, then I'm gonna click it, and then what you can do is shift right click, and when you do that, you have a list of all the object snaps. When you make a selection here, the cool thing is that all your, the other object snaps are gonna be turned off, except for the one that you select here. And that helps you to more easily uh, do what you need to do without object snaps uh, getting on the way. So for this example, I'm gonna use uh, maybe um, nearest, and you see that when I hover on the uh, on the walls, the nearest line gets highlighted, and that is that, that is exactly what I want. So I'm gonna put it at some point here. I don't have a specific measurement again, so I'm just gonna make an estimation, click, and it snap there. So also notice that now my window seems to be 
um, below the walls and that is just an optical effect you need to type region to regenerate uh, the canvas and that will uh, show the objects uh, as they really should be besides that I'm gonna continue doing one more window and I'm gonna do one that is here that is vertical so for this uh, we're gonna need to uh, rotate it so I'm gonna select here Control C Control V and I'm gonna bring again my window I'm gonna select it here and now I need to rotate this so I'm gonna use the rotate command in the home tab so home tab modify section and click on rotate of course you can always type rotate enter to bring it the command the next thing is select the object I want to rotate is this one I press enter and the next thing is the base point I'm gonna select this base point and then I'm gonna turn my ortho on f8 so it's easier for me you know to snap in 90 degrees uh, increments so I'm gonna click on here and that's it I have my object snapped and uh, also rotated the next thing is I want to put it on top of the wall so I select the object oops I select the object here I click on the grip and then I'm gonna move it here now the object snaps are getting on the way as you can see so shift right click again I'm gonna put nearest and I'm gonna put it somewhere around here I'm gonna make a zoom and uh, Thing seems to something seems to be getting on the way so it's the ortho so I'm gonna press F8 to turn the ortho off and uh, now when I click let's say let's put it here and that's it uh, and you see that now uh, this is uh, actually perfectly on top of my wall so the same thing is gonna be with the rest of the windows so I'm gonna get to do that and then get back to you